Whatever it is that you do when you do what you do to me You're so feeling that I don't understand Cause my heart starts beating triple times With thoughts of loving you on my mind I can't figure out just what to do When the thought of you is you I get so weak Blood starts to racing through my veins Come on y'all I get so weak Boy, it's something I can't explain it's something about the way you do the things you do. Ooh, ooh, it knocks me right off of my feet. Oh, yeah. Can't explain why your love it makes me weep. <laughs> I love me some SWV. You know, I'm just so proud. And I'm just so happy that um, SWV is finally getting their flowers. Um, I felt like SWV, Mary J. Blige, um, so many artists um, was robbed um, during the, when they had the, um, on VH1, they had the 2017 Hip Hop Honors 90s Game Changers. They didn't include Mary, they didn't include SWV. Um, it was so many artists, it was just so many that was so, um, it could have brought total. Like, it was just so many artists that was just so, um, dominant. Boys to men, hello. Um, that was just so dominant in the 90s and, and they killed in the 90s and sold records and had hit songs that they could have included. So it was nice to see that SWV finally is getting their, their shine on something, you know? I don't think they've ever won a Grammy, any of that. So anyway, this is the 2017 Soul Train Awards, y'all. Um, review, not the actual awards. I wish. Wouldn't that be fabulous? If I was like recording from the show or something, and then I was like backstage, like uh, talking to certain guests and stuff. Oh, that'd be dope. In the future, darling, maybe that'll happen. God willing. But um yeah, so SWV, SWV finally getting their roses. So yes, they did it. Shouts out to Lily and Coco and Taj. Yes. On these awards. Okay. 2017 Soul Train Soul Train Awards chair. Um Erica Badu, she was the host of this year's awards show. Um and you know, Erica is only Erica. Erica is her own brand. Of, of of funk and stankness and realness and, and soul definitely um, she had on these big old space boots with this um this is this, this sweatsuit on um it, it was a whole set with the jacket and, and the pants and you know this hat and y'all know Erica Chow you know she came up there she did her little jokes and stuff she did her, her Trump jokes and stuff you know I do like Erica um, she is funny at times, um, but it was just kind of like, okay, girl, get to the show, in which, of course, they eventually did. Um, I wish she would have sung, though, Erica. I, I love her voice. Erica is, Erica's is, is the queen of Neo Soul, in my opinion. Um, okay, so the first award they gave out, or the first one I remember, was um, some kind of um, a soul award. Um, uh, I don't know if it was a centric award. It was some kind of soul award. And um, it was apparently a tie with that award show. With that award. <laughs> and it was um, the tie was um, Lettucey. So, shouts out to Lettucey. Lettucey has been doing her thing for a long time. She is um, a sister that has really um, done a lot of good for herself. She started in the game. Um, a little later on in life and and she's just incredible and she's a true testament to just never give up on your dreams and to just keep fighting and keep going I'm sure many people told her that she wasn't gonna make it she she won this and that you know she she's not light skinned you know she don't have you know uh, the quote-unquote good hair 
you know, she's not the typical, like, you know, thin or whatever. But Lettucey is beautiful and amazing and incredible. Um, and, and she can vocally slay most of these girls out here on the charts now. Well, all of them, <laughs> pretty much. Even some of the faves, who I'm not going to mention, but we'll mention that in a minute. But we love Lettucey. I, I love her. I love everything about her. I love everything she represents. And um, she's so cool and so humble and God bless her. Because if Beyonce's ass would have got up there and sung my song that I sung on the Selma soundtrack and her ass got up there singing um, 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 Mahalia Jackson's song and I played Mahalia Jackson in the movie and I was on the soundtrack. But B Beyonce ass singing it at the Grammy show, I would have been a little bit less um, 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 understanding like Escape. And... Um, I would have turned on um, with some head buses and, uh, and I would have went off. I would have went off. But she's a classy woman. She's a very classy lady. And, you know, I'm I'm not. So, okay. That was just wrong. How shady, John Legend. Oh, you can never just say no wrong to Beyonce. But Legacy is an amazing singer. Yada to yada. Yes, you can say no to Beyonce. Who the hell is Beyonce? But I guess, child, when you're in the industry, it's just... That Illuminati spirit child is strong to come get you, come snatch up real quick. You see how fast I just snatch y'all up? It'll come snatch up real quick, child. And so she want to sing um, Precious Lord, let her sing it. I know, you know, that's wrong. I know Lettucey sung it and everything. Lettucey, she be singing it on the Grammys, but everybody know Beyonce, so let's put it out there. Yes. I get it. I get the politics of it all, but it's still wrong. I don't know why I thought of that. Anyway. So Lettucey won the award. <laughs> and um, who also won the award, because I told y'all it was a tie, was Belle Bib DeVoe. I love Belle Bib DeVoe. Um, oh no, I, I love New Edition more. But I, I do appreciate Belle Bib DeVoe. I'll say that. You know, it's kind of similar. Same damn thing. You know, just three, from three to six, child. Six to five, four to two. Y'all know New Edition, child. Um... And so, you know, shouts out to them. Bev Bev DeVoe still doing their thing, selling out shows. And uh, I just love that. I love that. And, and I just live for the Soul Train Awards. I really do. Because I, I know on the Soul Train Awards, I'm going to get up. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to sing songs that I know. I'm going to hear music that I grew up on. And it's just a good time. It's a cookout. It's a party. It's definitely our show. You feel me? So anyway, um, the Legend Awards, um, the Legend Award this year went to Toni Braxton, much deserved. I'm waiting for Mariah to get hers. Um, and 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 uh, have Mary J. Blige ever won that award? Maybe she did. I don't know. I need to see Mary again if she hasn't won it. Uh, the Lady of Soul Award um, went to the group SWV. Um, so, you know, it, it was just very beautiful seeing SWV, um, they actually opened the show, they performed, they did, um, anything, uh, the version with Method Man and the other guy on there, forgot his name, um, kaboom, guess who stepped in the room, hey, in a day on the Like that, that, like that, y'all. Check it out. Hey, it's like that, y'all. It's like that, that, it's like that, y'all. Oh, oh. Y'all don't get me started up in her, child. Y'all ain't gonna get me cut, kicked off YouTube. Cause I was gonna fuck it up for real. Um, but anyway. So yes, they won, and I think they and 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 Coco said that they never win anything, and they never really won anything. So selling all those records and and having those hits and not being recognized for it, I'm sure is very frustrating. Just in life in general, working your ass off of something and you don't get recognition for it. That's like my God, you know that that's that's almost depressing at times. So congratulations, SWV. If don't nobody else love and support y'all and and recognize y'all, we do. So shouts out to SWV. Glad they worked out their differences in in everything. Now that escape shit. Now, nah, nah. that's nothing. But anyway, um. So what else happened, y'all? They did the best video. The best video. Um. 
I remember Bruno Mars in the video was in the category. Beyonce for all night long was in the category, and Solange Cranes in the Sky was in the category. And the whole time, my mom and I we was just watching it. We was just like, oh God, hopefully they don't give it to Beyonce. I love Beyonce, first of all, but I'm just saying that she wins all the time. I think she's won at least two. Soul Train Awards. Um, since Soul Train has came back and they actually brought the award show back, I think she's won at least two or three. Uh, I mean, along with all the other damn awards, she don't got give it to somebody else. You know, uh, we was my mother and I. We was pushing for Solange to win, but they ended up giving it to Bruno Mars. And although I adore Bruno Mars, he's very talented. Um, they should have definitely gave best video to Cranes in the Sky, Solange. Like, come on now. Why? I don't, I don't understand why Solange, people's going on and on about Solange. Oh my gosh, the video's amazing. The album's amazing. I don't understand why she wasn't performing at the BT Awards either. Like, that's so, I don't know. That's I, I just want them to, to get their categories together and get their awards together. Who they're going to hand these awards to. Because I still feel like, like all the other shows, the Soul Train Awards, they give the award whatever award they're they're giving away they give it to the artist that's the most popular out right now today like a Beyonce like a Bruno Mars you know like a um hell I don't know like a um who's somebody this this I don't know like a Rihanna or 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 um or whomever and and that's great for them and congratulations but I'm just saying give somebody that's a little bit um, not as as famous or popular. Um, uh, the award. You see what I'm saying? It's just like they always don't get awarded. Give it to somebody else that's just as talented, but just don't get the recognition that artists do. You know, so that's just irritating. I was just like, oh my gosh, why didn't Solange win that award? People love Solange. Was going off on Solange. Um, record and, and video including me and it's just it's it's annoying it's annoying to say the least but anyway congratulations Bruno Mars I guess no congratulations seriously he is very talented but still I mean whatever more damn culture vultures so um, they had the soul cypher child um the soul cypher was good this time it was definitely more organized more in order more cleaner, so to speak. Um, they had Bilal. They had Mally Music, who they say is messing around with Jennifer Hudson. This is what they say. That's allegedly, but that's just what they say. They had Bilal, Mally Music, Fantasia, and Faith Evans. Killed it. You don't need nobody else. All them powerhouses up in there. With 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 um, and Bilal can sing his ass off. With Bilal, Tasia, and Faith, and, Ma and Mally, he's good too. So shout it! It was dope. Faith it did. I remember the way you used to love me. Yes. Y'all, y'all, y'all not gonna come for me. One twelve performed. Was good to see one twelve. They got a new album, new song out. Whatever. That's a cute song. Uh, but I'm glad they did their hits, okay? They did Peaches and Cream. They did Cupid. Took me. How can I tell you I love you? That doesn't mean nothing. Cupid. Us and I. Yes. Shout out to the boys of 112. So SWV, like I said, they won. They did the thing. So shout out to y'all. Um. Let's see. Do, 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 do. You guys give me your favorite. Um, I'll give y'all. Um, you guys tell me your favorite. Um, in the comment section. Let me know your favorite SWV songs. And your, some of your favorite um, Tony Braxton songs. Give me three. Give me at least three of each. Or you can do one or two. But no more than three. Give me at least because these are, you know, the the artists who got the main awards tonight. So I wanted um to, you know, have a little fun down in the comment section. You guys tell me your favorite, your top three favorite um Tony Braxton songs and your top three favorite SWV songs. Okay. 
So Keisha Cole, she performed incapable, 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 so incapable. Um, I definitely like the song. It's weird because I like the song a lot more when I saw it when I saw her kind of premiere it or sing it a little bit in the studio on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Um, but then I saw the video and I was just like, okay, I mean, it's a nice song, but it's just like I don't know. Um, but when she performed it tonight, I have to say I have to give it up to um, to Keisha Cole. Nafi's sister and Frankie's daughter because she killed it. She killed that incapable. Um, she was singing her face down. She sounded great. Uh, she definitely made me fall in love with the song more. I'll say that. It's it's a very nice song, you know. It's it's a nice love song and everything, but I don't know, it was something about it that was kind of cheesy. I think what it is, it's them dance moves. Um when when artists who don't dance dance uh, or artist is not known for dance and dance. It's just like, like when she was trying to dirty wine in the um, Sean John video. Give it up to me. I was like, whatever. I mean, I get it. Went with the song, but you know, hey. But I don't know. I just felt like the incapable video, and and in the and the way that she performs it, you know, with the all dance moves and stuff. I just thought it was kind of cheesy. Um. But it all worked tonight. So, shouts out to Keisha Cole. For whatever reason, it, it all worked tonight and you changed my mind. Good job, wench. Not that you give a damn, but I'm just saying. <laughs> um, Tamar Braxton, she performed Blind. I'm going to see Tamar, Monica, Escape, June's Diary, Zonique. All the girls on the Great Escape Tour in Charlotte, um, North Carolina. Uh, December 2nd so I will report back to you guys and let you know how that went darling. Um, so you guys stay tuned on my channel and subscribe and all the good stuff because I, I can't wait I can't wait to see those girls actually this is going to be my first concert ever um, 28 years old never been to a concert y'all so my very first concert is going to be the Great Escape Tour and I think I picked, I picked a good one to go to for to be my first one so anyway Tamar she song Blind she sat up in this chair she had on this big puffy um, a dress and um, she sung it technically was it perfect no but she sung the hell out of that song I would give it up for Tamar with that it was very passionate it was very emotional I can imagine what's going on in her head when she sings that song with everything's going on with her and, her and Vince um, so it, it was just absolutely beautiful um you know, all the Braxton girls was there. I didn't see Tawanda, though. Well, but the rest of the Braxton girls was there, including Mama Braxton and Papa Braxton. Child, they done scooped him up from Merlin. Um, so, it, it was definitely nice to see um, uh, Tamar doing a thing. It was beautiful. She definitely sung live, and she definitely killed it. Okay. Um, so, what else happened, child? Um... Tank performed, child. Tank. <sighs> Dear God in heaven. Yes, Tank performed. Um, took off his shirt and and, 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 and and just giving life, you know. Tank is a good looking man and Tank can definitely sing his ass off. Um, um, for sure. And I appreciate the Tank because Tank is one of the only male artists that come to support um like gay events and performed at Pride and all that kind of stuff and you know without it being weird he's obviously straight and so it's nothing like that but you know he was just like you know I got gay fans too and I want to cater to them just like I cater to my female fans or my rest of my fan base and so shout out to Tank for doing that um, um, Tank is, is, is everything for sure and, and he's such an amazing singer and see artists like Tank will never get that shine on these big war shows that's why we got to create our own and look for our own and, and, and you know do it um, best new artist went to SZA I thought it was kind of random see another random choice uh, you know SZA's popping these days SZA is um, popular and, and I still haven't I just have to personally get into SZA I still haven't gotten into her music like that my friend he loves her he plays all her her all her songs on her album I still haven't gotten, to her, gotten in, in, into her like that but uh, you know I will um, Demetria McKinney, um, she was on, what, Meet the Brown show? House of Pain? I think House of Pain. Um, 
And, you know, she went to there and then the Housewives. And she played Whitney Houston on the Bobby Christina story on TV One. I still have to watch that. And when I watch it in its entirety, I will go ahead and review it as well. If y'all want me to. Um, I'll probably just do it anyway. I'll probably feel inspired, child. Um, so, yeah, that was definitely... Um, she she performed her new song called Easy. She's a great singer. I'm, def, I'm definitely thinking about getting her album, Demetria McKinney. She's dope. I like her. Um, okay, what else happened? She didn't perform on the she performed on the show, but you know how like BET they do their little side, um, you know, um, artists to watch or similar to that, you know. Okay, so um, we had a little church. Mom, we always got to bring a little church in there. Kurt Franklin got up on the stage hopping around like a frog. He brought um, Lettucey, Daniel, Caesar, um, Leandria Johnson, and uh, Major on the stage. And, and they killed. And, you know, Leandria and, and Lettucey together, it's just, it's too much. Too much powerhouse is going on. Can you imagine a song with Lettucey, um, Leandria Johnson, uh, Kelly Kelly Price Kiki Wyatt Can you imagine a song with like Awful craziness Craziness So anyway um, So yeah they performed I Wake Me Up I Wake Up Wake Up All The Children Let's Stop Stinging And Bang I Know Wake Up so That was cute um, The last thing I'm going to talk about is the Tony Braxton Tribute um, I enjoyed it. I just felt like it was too short. Um, I just wanted more. I needed more. They only had three artists perform, um, to tribute Tony Braxton, which was Ro James, Mr. Permission. He did seven whole days, got up there looking like a sexy thug, rolling and, and with a print shirt on and all that leather pants. I know them balls were sweaty. Um, and he did all right. It was all right. It was just all right to me. Um, Jessie J, she came up there and did um, You Mean the World to Me. You know, Jessie J, she's another Blue Eyed Soul diva. Um, I do enjoy Jessie J. Um, I just want them to give her better songs because she's such a great singer live. But her own songs, is just like, I don't know. Like, they just don't go anywhere. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments why Jessie J haven't popped off yet. She had one big hit with... Um, Price tag and um uh what was the other damn song I forgot but anyway um she did the song with Ariana and Nikki and you know that was cute for the moment and then it's just like gone child you know so hey I guess it's guess come on over to the or just come come on over child come on over to the other side chair yeah. um but she's definitely a good singer um Jesse J. Um, she did. You mean the world to me. Probably one of my top three favorite Tony Braxton songs of all time. Um, and she did all right. Um, one thing I do want her to stop doing. Well, she's not gonna stop doing it because it's part of her voice. But I want her to cut down so much on the running because it, it kind of takes away from the song when every single note, every single thing is a run. You mean the just sing the song. It will never end. Jesse, you only got two minutes. Sing. If that, a minute and 20 seconds. Just sing the damn song in, 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 in college day. Um, let's see. Uh, Luke James came out there and did Unbreak My Heart. Um, on the part, on the bridge. Uh, when are you I just can't go. That part. He hit this real high note. I was like, yes, Luke James. Luke James and Tank. Take you to a place. Ecstasy. Y'all remember um that song by Danny DeCane? Just just so talented. Luke James. Um he's going through his whole I guess I don't know what he's going through, but he had this big hoop earring in one ear. You know, he's he's, he's trying to be unique, child. We'll give it to him. Uh, but Luke James, um, good looking dude, can sing his ass off and hopefully get a sis flowers one day, child. This industry is just so fickle, I swear. You know, give him more than just, he played um, Johnny Gill. 
Oh, new edition movie. He did well. I'm just saying, like, support their own shit, too. Uh, I'm telling you. You don't sign that soul over. It's, it's, it's rough out there in these streets. In these streets. Um, so they did that. Um, and, and it was nice. But like I said, it was super duper short. It was over with before. I blinked and it was over with. Um, so Tony Braxton, she, um, you know, started off with a little acapella. Um... She did Love Should Have Brought You Home last night. A little bit of it. Um, and uh, and the, Anthony Anderson introduced her. It was nice. Um, he really likes Tony. He's in love with Tony. Which is it's beautiful. Um, Tony Braxton got up there. And, and um, she did. Um, Making Me High. And she did. Um, he wasn't man enough for me. Get him girl. So many reasons why I'm understood. What makes you think he'll be good to you? No, it makes no sense. Cause he will never change. Girl, you better recognize the game. Oh, yeah. I see, girlfriend. I ain't thinking about him. I was like, give it to him, Tony. Tony still got it at 50. You better go. You better go. Come on, eggs. I live for Tony. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. They did a little Soul Train line, but they cut it off, chat. So, that was pretty much it, you guys. It was a um, it was a nice show. It was a jam-packed show. It, it was just dope. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would definitely give it um, 8.9 for sure. Dope, dope, dope. Well, I give it a full nine. Dope, dope, dope show. Last year was a complete ten. But this year, you know, it was more I don't know. What's it a ten? Y'all tell me. Y'all y'all tell me the songs, y'all favorite Tony song, y'all favorite SWV songs. And uh rate the show down in the comments as well on scale from one to ten. I'm gonna give it a eight I'm gonna give it a solid nine. That's what I'm gonna give it. That's what I'm gonna give it. Because no matter what, there's always room for improvements, right? I just wanted it to never end. I just, I this, I'm just soul music is my music. R&B music is my music, and I just, I just live for it. I just do. With that said, y'all, Mr. Chalaki, Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at the on Instagram and Twitter. At the Kingsworth eighty nine on Snapchat, Chase Kingsworth sale, Facebook, and all that good stuff. All my social media moments will always be in the bottom bar below. Make sure you guys um, share this video. Share, share, share. Help a brother out. I will keep, you know, giving y'all product and, you know, we help, e we see each other. We help each other.